Hey there gang, Patrick King here, coming to you live from somewhere off the side of the highway, somewhere in Virginia. Today's question comes to us from Jerry, and Jerry asks, how tight is too tight to girth your horse? Can, a too, tight, can too tight of a girth cause bucking? What about a round horse versus a thin horse? Now I've noticed that horses can have very different barrels. That's a really great question, Jerry. And we joke oftentimes when we're starting young horses under saddle, the first saddling, the girth is tight enough when you notice their gums turn blue. That's a total joke. That's not the truth. Um, what, can you over tighten a girth? Absolutely, you can over tighten a girth. Think about uh, putting a belt on, right? Can you over tighten a belt? Absolutely you can. Uh, and that's gonna cause all sorts of problems and discomfort uh, over tightening your belt, just the same way as it could cause problems with uh, over tightening the girth for your horse. And I've seen problems ranging from bucking all the way to horses collapsing down on the ground. Uh, the biggest thing we need to think about is the function of the girth is to help the saddle stay in place. We've got to make sure that we have a saddle that's going to fit adequately in order for the girth to actually be doing its job. So the first thing we need to take a look at is, is your saddle actually fitting properly? Because if the saddle isn't fitting for a dam, then the girth, excuse me, there's a gnat here. If the saddle's not fitting properly, then the girth is not going to be able to do its job. It's not going to be able to hold the saddle in place regardless really of how tight you put it we've seen horses with you know big round barrels where you feel like you can't get that girth tight enough because the saddle's not fitting the horse likewise you see some horses with uh, really narrow withers narrow barrels and you feel like you could keep that that girth fairly loose and the saddle would stay in place based on uh, you know how it fits the horse and and we see this along all different spectrums okay so the primary focus that we need to have is making sure that the saddle fits properly. I like to be able to slide my fingers uh, underneath the girth there uh, for most horses in most situations. If you've got that girth so tight to the point that you can't get a finger underneath it, you're probably a little bit too snug there. If you've got it so loose that it's hanging under his belly, I've seen that happen too. If it's hanging underneath his belly with a big gap where you think you could put a fist sideways underneath it, then it's not doing its job either, right? Just like if you put your belt on and you can't get a finger between your belt line and your belly or your belt line and your hips, it's probably going to be too tight. If that belt's hanging off of you, it's probably not tight enough. So. Every situation is going to be different for every horse, for every saddle, for every cinch or girth. Uh, so we've got to use our judgment there. Can it be too tight? Absolutely. Use the same judgment with that that you would with putting your belt on. I think that's the easiest way to go about that. So, all right, gang, if you found this helpful, please give us a like, a share, a comment in the comment section below. If you have some friends that uh, you think might benefit from this advice, please feel free to tag them in the comment section below or share this video directly with them. Uh, question of the day today, let's see, talking about cinches and girths. What's your favorite material for cinches and girths? We've got uh, you know, our felt, we've got our leather, we've got our neoprene, we've got all these new materials coming out with. What's your favorite material to use for cinches or girths for your horse? Give us the answer in the comment section below this video here. And don't forget, gang, you keep sending in your questions, and I'll keep talking about horses. Thanks, gang.